Hey, it's Jeremy here. We're going to be working with layers today in Illustrator CC. Make sure you're always using layers. It keeps your overall design process more tidy and neat. You can keep track of your, all your objects and your groups. Um, and just overall, it makes you more organized um, when you're doing your designs. Because you might have a complex design and you'll have all these objects. Um, and you'll be confused if you don't have good layering systems and good naming systems um, to make the process better. So what I've done, I've just got my layers panel open. Go to window and go to layers to open that on the right hand side. And you can see I've just imported this sketch. You can see if I click this sketch, um, and it's got a blue outline. Um, you can see the color blue pops up here. It's just an indicator. We can change that in a second. Um, the quick way to change layers, you just double click on the name. And then you can just name it like that. Um, also, if you want to go into options, we can just double click on the gray area. And you can see I'll, we'll get layer options up. So we can rename it here as well. But we can also change the color as well. You can see it's on light blue. you, can, you got all these colors to choose from. I'm just going to go with a burgundy. And what we can do, we can lock the layer from here as well, or we can use template layer. So if you're bringing in a sketch and you want to trace it, or you want to build, you know, design over it, you just go click template, and you'll get this option dim images. This just means it's going to decrease the opacity to whatever percent. So I'm going to put 40%, press OK. And you can see it's created this template layer. As you can see in the indicator on the left, it's now locked a template layer, and it's dimmed it to the 40%. And then we can go over here and trace it um, and do whatever we want. So I'm just going to delete that layer, but we're going to create a new layer first. So you can see in the bottom right, it says create new layer. We can create as many as you want. You can see we've got heaps. You can see how it automatically changes the names and then it um, gives it a new color. So we're going to go ahead and click on this sketch layer and press the bin. Okay. You can also hold shift and select multiple layers and then just click the bin and it'll delete those as well. So we've got these four layers. So the quick way to, um, un to hide or show layers is just click and drag. And you can see it just hides them. Or you can also lock them really fast as well by clicking and dragging. Um, if you just want to view one layer, you can hold Alt and click. And it's just going to show that one layer. Uh, or if you hold um, Control, it's going to change it to outline mode. So if I'm in layer 8, I'm just going to create a shape. You can see there's my shape. But if I click, hold Control and click on the eyeball, it's going to change it to an outline view, which will just show paths. So that's pretty handy. You can see if I hold Control and click... Um, on the lock, it's just going to lock every layer but that layer. And you can do the same with the eyeballs as well. So that's really handy. So what we also can do as well, I'm just going to copy these circles real quick. If you want to select everything in this layer, you can see on the right hand side next to this little um, circle, we can click. And it's going to select all these objects in that layer. And I can click and drag and put it into any other layer I want. So now it's in layer 6. I'm just going to uh, show that. And you can see, it's, we can drag it to any layer we want, and it's just changing where it is. The good thing about layers as well is you can also create sub-layers. You can see it sh it's showing all the objects within this layer, but maybe you want to put all this in the sub-layer. So if I click on the layer 6, and down the bottom of the right here, you can go create sub-layer. Do that, and I can click and drag all these and drag that into this layer 5. So you can drag objects into any layer you want. So that's really handy. You can create multiple sub-layers as well. And you can see, if you just click the little drop-down arrow, um, you can show or hide those sub layers. So it's really flexible. You can play around with it. Um, it's good if you have multiple things within one layer and you can really play around with that. Another thing about layers is we can also go into options. So if you go to the drop down menu here, you can um, do new sub layer, you can duplicate or you can delete from here. So if I can click, you can duplicate layer six. And if you hold shift as well, um, you can do options for all selections. So if I do the options, it's going to um, change it for all those three layers that I selected. But I'm just going to cancel that. So what else we can do as well, you have these other options, but we can use those options in File, Edit, and Object, and Select as well, but we don't have to do them here. So just not going to worry about that. Um, you can also go to Panel Options at the bottom here. So if you've got a panel, you can change the sizing, and if you want to get rid of the thumbnail, you can get rid of that too. So now you can see my layers are more bigger, and I've got rid of the thumbnail. So pretty much that's how you use layers, guys. I um, hope this tutorial helped you out. Let me know in the comments below if you want to see more of this or if you want to see other tutorials. And don't forget to subscribe for more design content every week.